Hello, Eridos here once again with another Let's Paint video. Today we are going to be doing the Konoichi Candy and Ninja Cola from the Super Dungeon Explorer set. As you can see, I already have them in a nice white primer for painting. I also did the previous technique of washing these off, as I showed you in my video for the Tabber Book Mage. So we're going to get right on with the painting. I have pretty close to gunmetal gray, but it's not exactly gunmetal gray. We're going to start off by painting it on the shuriken, the shuriken, the forearms on Cola here, Candy's forearms, her kunai, her Katanas and her stockings all need to be painted in, oh, and her headband too. All of this needs to be in gunmetal gray, or at least something closely resembling gunmetal gray. Just got to carefully dab it on here. Just to show you where it goes. It's going to take a while, so once I'm done painting these, I'll come back and show you the next step. As you can see, we are done with the gunmetal gray. Might have gone over in a few areas, especially there, but not much we can do for now. For now, we're going to take this color and paint the kimono and the hair on candy. Just got to unscrew the cap. And just careful. Well, oh, you don't have to be careful because the kimono and the uh, hair are all the same color. Just gotta be careful we don't get on the gunmetal gray that we've already painted. Might take a few coats to get it right, but. Anyway, once we're done with this color, we'll go on to the next step. Okay, as you can see, we got all that nice hot pink on there. A little spotty on the back, but it's an area that is going to be painted in a different color. Took a few coats to get this on. I also took the liberty of touching up the areas that are supposed to stay in white and any areas that were painted over that were already gunmetal gray. So we're done with that. Next, we're going to take this very light pink and paint the flowers on the top of her head there. Shouldn't take too long, but I'm going to use a finer tip this time to make sure that I don't screw up, especially considering the fact that this paint's kind of old, so have to shake it up a bit more than usual. Just got to carefully paint it in there. It's going to take a few coats, but once we're done, we'll go on to the next step. Yeah, you can see we got the flowers painted in a nice pink there. So now we're going to take some purple. Give me a second to shake the bottle here. And we're going to paint the center of her kimono right there. I'm not going to be terribly concerned about the rope around it just yet. Just want to get the purple in there. Also want to take into consideration to be very careful of the swords on our hips. We want to try to keep as much of the gunmetal on there as possible until we're ready for the final details. And as you can see, we got the nice purple around her waist there. We're not done with her yet, but we're going to start focusing on cola now. We got a little bit of all that gunmetal gray on there, but we now have to very carefully dot some blue right on his suit, being very careful to not paint the belt. 
can see we got just a little there. It's going to be very, very tricky because we want to make sure that we don't get his belt or anything like that. We want to keep in Gunmetal Gray. Yeah, this is going to take a little bit of time because I have to look at this very closely to make sure I don't cover up any areas I don't want to. So, yeah, we'll get back to this after we're done with the coats. Okay, we got the blue in areas that we need it in. Now we're going to take some dark red and just paint his little bandana around his neck. Uh, oops, I kind of overpainted there a second. So, yeah, got to be very careful and we'll paint over the areas that we overcoated on. Okay, sorry I didn't get that on camera, but yeah, just a little red on his back. Yeah, I'm going to get touch this up and clean it up a bit so it doesn't uh, bleed over into the figure. Once I'm done with that, we'll go on to the next step. Now as we wait for cola to dry, we're going to take some sun-kissed uh, peach here and go over Candy's face, her chest, her fingers and her exposed thigh here. Takes a little practice, oh wait, sorry. Takes a little practice to get in between the hairs without painting them. And even if you do paint the hairs, don't panic. You can always go back and fix them up after the paint's dry. Also, want to be careful we don't get the white parts that we want to keep on the kimono painted. I mean, we don't want to overpaint what we don't want here. Yeah, so once we're done with that, we'll go on to the next step. Okay, now that we are done painting Candy's skin, we're going to go on to the next step, which is we are going to paint Cola's fur here in a bit of orange. Now then you can choose if you want to to have an orange brown mix but I'm just gonna paint him orange because it is pretty close to how he shows up in the card. As you can see however it's gonna take a few coats to get that done. We're also gonna take the color and paint the back of her kimono as it shows up in the picture in this orange. So yeah, it's going to take a few coats to get that done. So we're just going to have to fast forward a bit until uh, until we get this uh, painted. Okay, currently I'm waiting for the uh, paint to dry on Cola there because I still need to put some more coats of uh, orange on him. But Candy's just done with her coats of orange, which you can see on the back. So now we're going to take on the part that's probably the most detail based and that is painting her eyes. First we have to carefully dip our brush in some black and carefully line the edge of her sockets like so. It's very very careful process. But once you've done it a few times, it's not that bad. The eyes are quite large enough on these where you can get some pretty good details on these. Give me a second. I'm going to reference the card again. Okay. So I'm going to just dip my brush in just a little bit more and carefully put in some eyelashes. Just a few. Not a whole lot, just a few. She doesn't have a whole lot of eyelashes. There we go. 
Her eyes are now fully, her eyelashes are now fully painted. So now we get on to the next step. So I need to put that away, find where I put my whites, clean off the brush, taking very careful measurements in order to make sure that I pres preserve the tip of the brush by gently twisting it on the, the uh, paper towel I'm using. We can add a little bit more white, but now we have to be careful because I didn't bleed over it into the eye itself. So we gotta carefully work our way along the edges of the eye toward the center. I wanna work on the edges first because that's the stuff you gotta be careful of. Because once you get to the center, you can easily just do it yourself. See edges that you want to keep the most detail on. Now then, we're not done yet. We do have to wait for this to dry, and I still have to wait for that to dry. So once we're done, actually while we're waiting for the white to finish, oh, put too much paint on that brush. And just put a little in her mouth for the teeth. And then we're just going to wait and wait for that to dry before we continue on to the next step. Okay, I finished up the last few coats of orange on cola here. I'm going to get to Candy's eyes in a bit, but right now we're going to paint the tips of his tails. And thankfully, the tips are actually molded in, so we actually have mold lines to tell us where to stop. We're painting these in a little bit of a mocha color, because that's how it looks like on the card. Taking very care not to overpaint on the mold lines. It might take a little practice. And this orange is very fluorescent, so that means that if you paint over it, you're gonna have a little trouble paint, painting it orange again. Okay, I'm gonna come back to this um, after we're done painting this in. Okay, now for the next step. We're going to take some nice gold here. This is what I did the last one because I did have another candy of the series. And we're just going to take it to paint her eyes. We're going to be very careful here. Just get just enough. And it's hard to see on camera, but her Eyes are actually molded so you know exactly where you need to put the paint. So just carefully ease it in there until you get the colors of her eyes in. I'm gonna have to just put an extra coat. It's very easily put just very easy put my brush back in and there that's her eyes but we're not done yet next up we have to dot in the pupils and the reflections of the eyes. So we need some black. Very carefully dot it in on the brush. And 
carefully put just a dot in the middle of her eyes. We're not done with that completely, but when so now we have the black out, we are also going to take the black and carefully paint in Cola's eyes. Again, these are molded in. We also paint in his mouth. And I do believe, yeah, we also paint in his nose in the same color too. And you heard the doorbell. Okay, we're done with the black. As you can see, I also tried to do the little logo on top of uh, Cola's head. Not sure if I got that right, but close enough. So now, for the last step, we're going to take some white and just put in a dot on the top. And bottom of Candy's eyes to give it that nice little reflection. I might need to touch up her right eye there for a sec. So give me a minute while I fix that. Oh boy. Okay. Fix the eyes. Now we're going to do the rope around her kimono, which we're going to do in this light brown. Since it's a very detailed area, we're just going to dab just a little on the brush and carefully line it around her torso. Just take very good care. Take your time. If you rush, it's going to look bad. So, yeah, I'm going to cut here because I need this close to my face in order to see what I'm doing. Okay, we're just about done now. I also realized I had to touch up the swords here because the ropes are actually supposed to be white, according to the picture. Now then, next part, we're going to take... No, where did I put it? The gold. Shake it up again. Yeah, after a while, these things get kind of hard to open. And if you're wondering why I'm opening them, opening them instead of spray, uh, uh, squaring them into the tray there, it's if you're unless you're mixing, I would highly recommend against it because then it just makes a big mess for you to clean up later. Anyway, we're gonna carefully dot some gold along the sword and along her stockings where the gold paint where the uh, gold accents are. This is a very delicate procedure. Again, lightly dab your brush and carefully boop, boop, boop. Got that. Boop, boop, boop. Got that side. Okay, yeah, I'm going to do the stockings off camera because I really need to see what I'm doing. But yeah, you get the drift here. I mean, you get the gist here. Okay, now for the next step of detail work, we're going to take some silver or something closely resembling silver. Okay, this needs to be shaken up just a bit more. Okay, that should do it. And we're going to carefully trim the outside of the of the shuriken and the outside of the kunai dagger. Again, this is a very delicate procedure because you have to be especially careful on where you put it. If the line's too thick, it's going to look kind of weird. If it's too thin, you can barely see it. And again, this is something that's going to take a lot of time and patience to do. Yeah, so we'll cut back to this after we're done. As you can see, we are done with the shuriken. And we are done with the kunai. So they look nice and sharp. 
So now we're going to take this paint again. Now you remember how I painted in her uh, Candy's teeth? We're going to paint in the rest of her mouth. Very carefully, not touching the teeth. It's going to take a few tries, but we'll get it. Uh, kind of bled over into the skin, so yeah. I'm going to have to paint over that with the skin and fix that. And then we'll get to the next step. Okay, mouth is fixed. So now we're going to take on the next very difficult challenge, and that is taking the light blue here and painting on the details on her kimono. There's three dots right here. One two, three, with a little trail on the ends. And next we gotta draw triangles on her arms, which are gonna be very tricky. So, yeah, I'm gonna need to cut the camera off because there's obviously too much noise. And the fact I need to really look at this in order to do it. And as you can see, we got all those light blue pieces on the edges of her kimono and on her chest. So now we go on to the final step, which is their bases. Which, if you recall from my Tabba Book Mage, we take a nice coat of black. And just paint the entire base in black. And then we dry brush the base in a nice silver. Or gray, actually. Yeah, so yeah, you've already seen me do this on the Tabba Book Mage. So I'm not going to have you see it all over again. Just watch that video to see what I do. And I'll fast forward to when we get these things finished. And now that I've done with the base, you can see... The figures are all done and ready for the tabletop. Well, not entirely. The paint still needs to dry on the base and I still have to put a clear coat on them. But yeah, that is Konichi Candy and Ninja Cola. And hopefully I hope to do more of these Super Dungeon Explorer minis soon. I have one currently on order. I'm still waiting for a shipping confirmation. And I might pick up more if I have the time and money before for Anime Fargo. So anyway, that is my Let's Paint, and I hope to see you guys again next video.